Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we had upgraded our equipment a little bit, as well as the frigate itself, the main capital ship, with something that allows us to now basically deliver everything that I pick up to the frigate at no real issue as long as the frigate is within the same system as i am therein lies the problem <laughs> is we have to make sure that the frigate stays with us at all times but that shouldn't be too difficult speaking of difficult i had to head to iguchi to get the save beacon for the scientist registered as done I did the target for the armor, and I got the gut rot flowers for the, 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 the farmer. So I just need to plant the gut rot farm, uh, gut rot flowers for the farmer, and then we'll be all good. Valid biome. Well, it will be valid in a second when I put it here. There we go. And there we go. Now that that's done, they are now growing. I don't have to worry about them anymore. Well, not right now. Now I can talk to the hireling Osu. My parents wanted me to be a sales gag, just as they were, as all 300 of their other offspring were. But my passion is for the earth, for the taste and smell of its bounty. Why were we gek born with this palette if not to use it? Ask about flowers. Friend, plants are the most inspiring of beings. They care not for profit or war. They know nothing of us or our worries. And yet they provide us with so much. Our existence is bound together. Interesting. Interesting thought process. Unfortunately... Okay, I have to grow and harvest. Oh, boy. Well, I have to wait for them to grow then. That'll take a while. <laughs> That's gonna take a good god long time now, ain't it? Well, it is what it is. Whoop. Also, Reggie cut out where I swore there. <laughs> uh, he's already wagging his finger at me I can tell because it's only like three minutes into the episode but that's not the point the point is I was aggravated okay <laughs> give me some leniency here oh boy okay life support gel we put that here and fantastic we're good um, ion batteries that's a thing I need to stockpile on boy do I need to stockpile on it there's a lot of ion batteries to have make, to have to make, rather, because these are so useful. They're the most useful thing I could even make. Used in a variety of defensive and hazard protection systems. That's the majority of why they're so useful. They're used in everything. There we go. We'll call it good at 25. I need dihydrogen jelly to make life support gel, which is the main reason I don't do that, because I need dihydrogen for other things. Okay. So far, so good. Now that's done. Um, I talked to the gek. I can't do anything with it until the flowers are harvested, which I think it takes a little bit of time for. How much time? I think it says in there, four hours. Okay. All right. So I'm going to be waiting for a while. So we'll ignore these. <laughs> these whole thing. This and all the missions involved with that. Dr. Conscript Dog and Scientist Entity Yuse. In the meantime. Einen Dog. Einen Dog. That, that's why I... I just simplified it to dog, because that's a havoc reeking name right there. Is it done, interloper? Have you purged these vile beings from our air? Yep. Grah! Well fought, interloper. To be young. To kill again. 
Ah, how I envy you. Interloper, there is both good and bad news. Some of the pirates appear to have fled your wrath, but this merely delays their righteous extermination. Hunt them down, interrogate them for potential weapons technology, then then consign them to the Great Abyss. Grah! Right. Okay. Little hyphy there, but I'm going to need you to tone it down a bit. <laughs> Conscript Dog is clearly possessed by the thrill of the hunt, but this energy cannot disguise the fact they appear to be weakening. Has residing here in my base caused them to become ill? The armorer wishes for me to find one of the escaped pirates and take any technology they might possess. I can do that. This is your prize, interloper. This is your prize, interloper. Weapons technology and a pirate to do with as you will. Grah! Make our ancestors proud. Okay. Cool. I've returned to the armorer, and now I have coordinates to follow to interrogate a pirate. Scientist entity use it. Is the beacon constructed, traveler? Confirm. We shall wait. It may take time for the convergence to find me. My own research proved fruitless. It yielded only blueprints. Ooh. Mining unit and atmosphere harvester. Hmm. You're all autonomous, too. Cool. I'm fine with that. Those atmosphere, harvester, and mining unit plans prompted a thought. What if they could be friends for the beacon? What if they could make it their own convergence? Hmm. Idea. They shall be my children, traveler. Interesting thought. Interesting thought. I have transmitted a crafted intelligence to the beacon, so that they might live and connect as the Corvax do, but it cannot see the world. Bring me scan data so I, that I might teach it. Scientist entity Yuzhei's plan seems desperate, but it does seem to have genuinely make them happier, or at least less anxious about their separation. The Corvax asks me to scan creatures to feed its newly created intelligence. Well, there we go. Hey! We thank you, traveler. I don't know how to say that word. It doesn't matter. I scan things now. Okay. Scan four creatures. Okay, I can do that. I'm assuming they have to be new creatures. Which presents a problem. Means I have to go outside of the system. Oh, and any ships that were here are now gone. Okay, well. Here's what it is. Um, glass. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need more wiring looms. I finished this, by the way. I finished that. I realized I was a doofus and forgot that I could. Um, I need more wiring looms for the optical drill and then a quantum computer and a solar mirror. Pretty sure I can learn those recipes. But I'm not entirely sure I can learn them. Oh, okay. That was weird. That was weird. Okay. It seems to be not glitched other than it just disappeared from view for a while. That's fine, though. It's not terrible. Okay, so let's go to... Huh? Oh, I see. Some of them are other people's bases because I was recently in the anomaly, so I can see all of them now. That makes sense. Okay, well... Let's head back to the base. Mainly to see if those autonomous units can be useful. How useful? I don't know. But they'll be useful. Somehow. Hey, there we go. Back on Iguchi.
All right. Timber. Since when is timber a thing? An alloy. Okay. Some of these are just new. Never seen before. Hmm. Interesting. Power and industry. Okay. I already know how that works. Got those taken care of. Flag. Okay. Legacy structures. Oh, that's what... That's what that's about. These are the old structures. Old, 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 old. I see. Ow. Oh. These require ammonia and uranium, which I don't have enough of anyway. Ah! Balls. Okay. Timber. Conforms to Universal Building Standards 2.3b, ensuring maximum compatibility with other prefab structures. Rapid grid snapping allows for quick assembly of custom shelter layouts. Hmm. So, these are now the new... These are now the new structure things as opposed to the old legacy structure things. Okay. So let's... Well, hi there. I have no idea what you are. You're freaky looking. Okay, let's compare the timber of this wall to the other. The other looks a little slapped together. Whereas this seems a little more professionally made. Reinforced timber building module. Widespread in basic structures across the galaxy. Except for the ones I used to make, I guess. But otherwise, it's okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm curious if the construction research unit will give me stuff about that. Timber. Stone. Alloy. Okay, so the old stuff is now gone. And it's now been replaced with the new stuff. I see. I can go with stone instead. Which requires silicate powder. So silicate powder now has a use again. Well, I mean, other than recharging the terrain manipulator, but still. Interesting. Framed glass panel. Hmm. So everything old has been replaced by the new. What are you... What are you intending on doing here, bud? Okay. I'm, I'm not sure anymore. It's fine. It's fine. So, legacy structures. Huh. I wonder if I can still look into the legacy structures via the anomaly. Interesting thought, and one I'll definitely have to investigate. But for now, I'm just gonna collect a whole bunch of dihydrogen since I need some. What with my, uh, tritium 
supply now being way more than the dihydrogen. Okay, there we go. Perfect. There we go. I remember there being a solid crystal somewhere nearby. I just can't seem to find it now, which is fine. That's fine. I'll find others soon enough. Soon enough. Damage container. Well, let's see what it'll give me. A convergence cube. Interesting. Put that there. Well, hi. How's it going? There we go. Bye. Did I never? I never scanned this. I'll be damned. Okay. Whee! Exploring a little bit more of my surroundings. Whoop, okay, there goes the surge. Woof! <laughs> that was almost bad. But not quite bad enough to keep me from pulling stunts. As it is. There we go. Getting a lot of crystal fragments, which will be more dihydrogen in the near future. Ooh, excuse me. I apologize. My energy drink is getting to me. <laughs> All right. Now with that done... Life support system's at 50%. That's fine. It's not a terrible amount. It will last. And that's done. Okay. Hey, there's some more. Cool. And there it is. There's the crystal I was thinking of. Beautiful. The only, it'd be nicer if I could get 50% more, but unfortunately that costs materials that I don't yet have, I'm sure. And I see some sodium nitrate right there. That is good. I will take that. Ooh, that does yellow. Hey, that ain't too bad. I'm liking some of the particle mark blah, blah. brain broken did, but I'm liking some of the particle effects that they've added. Oh, never identified this. Interesting. You bastard! How dare you bastard! How dare? Okay, all right. That's the game you want to play, huh? All right. I'll be over here while I fucking shoot at you, you bastard. I'll destroy all of you. Booyah. I'll destroy that and that. Get rid of some of the ones I've already destroyed slightly. So, oh, balls. One last one. There we go. Good enough. Ooh, red. Always good to have condensed carbon. Though typically condensed carbon looks more like coal and not, you know, like red crystals. But, you know, it's the wrong. There is a glowing crystal somewhere here. Then there's dihydrogen crystals right here, which is even better for me. Oh yeah. All right, terrain manipulator, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha 
And now mine. Let's open it up, see what we got. Ooh, iridescite. Good. Good stuff indeed. Goes right there. Cool. I got a lot more of those than I do the geodesite. That's really weird. Yeah, not that weird, but kind of weird. All right, let's put the mordite in there. There we go. Fantastic. This is a pure ferrite. Also, there's a unknown building. It's a little further on. Well, I'll take the pure ferrite. I don't see why I shouldn't. And now, let's see what's going on at that unknown building. Oh, well, hi there. More of you, eh? Just can't seem to get away from the murders. Or the murderous, rather. Well, I mean, I technically I'm murdering them back, so I guess I am also technically not getting away from murders, because I just keep murdering. English is a very weird language. <laughs> I, sh I will not be the first nor the last to say it. Fine. Be that way. There we go. Okay. Hello there. That was weird that only some of them are hitting the head. There we go. Interestingly weird, but weird. And we'll get rid of that thing. And we'll get some pure ferrite from that thing. Pure ferrite is always a good thing. Just need to make sure you get it in moderation. Because ferrite dust is the base of everything involving iron. At least everything that involves iron in this game. Okay, that's still a ways away. Interesting. Well, I don't see why I shouldn't. No one else has given me a reason why I shouldn't. So, here we go. Alright. Get some good ones here. Fantastic. Oh, more of you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, it's a shame that I have to kill so many of those. It's not a shame that I can control, but I mean, it is a shame. They're just going to keep coming after me unless I do anyway, so... Oh! Ow! You, you little bastard. Fuck you. Alright, let's get some of these. Cool. Not left there. Plenty here, though. Cool. Ooh. Almost missed you. Good thing I was looking around. Alright. So far, so good. Getting a decent amount of stuff. All of this traveling, which is, you know, justifiable reason to continue traveling. Corvax word for we. For like the royal we or the we sort of we, I don't know. There we go. Oh, you're, you're not something I can mine, huh? Interesting. Alright, let's open these. Open that. Aronium. Interesting. Let's put this where it belongs, which is right there. Cool. 
fantastic. And the building I need to continue hunting towards. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's always going to be low in some way, shape, or form. Oh, I just noticed all of these. They kind of phased out of being as I walked away. Yeah, it's fine. I can still hit them from here. Which is the important part. technology module over there. Eh. Oh, there's one right here. There we go. That's pretty deep down there, so I might as well refill the hole once I'm done. Oh, I get four out of that one. Hello. I have no idea why this is not Restoring the way it used to. Okay, well, that kind of did the trick. Kind of. In a very weird way, but it did the trick. So, I mean, I guess it's alright. Also, I just noticed that some of these particle effects on the damaged machinery weren't a thing that were there originally either. So they did a lot of polishing and fine-tuning of the game after this last update. That's what I'm noticing. Okay, I was making sure that I was fully reloaded on the uh, bolt caster. Is it necessary to be? No, but it's nice to know. Star bulb. Anything that gives me anything weird? Nitrogen. That's what I want. Something that gives me nitrogen is a good thing. Because I could always use more sources of nitrogen. That is not what I was aiming for, but I'm apparently hitting it, so it works. There we go. This is not too terrible. It'd be nice to have more. It's always nice to have more. Oh, hey! There's the oxygen plant. Nice. Ooh. And a whole bunch of these. I'll take that. Good thing you moved, animal. Otherwise, I would have accidentally hit you and not have realized until it was too late. And I would have felt bad. But then in the name of science, I would have chased you down and murdered you even more. Because that's how I beat. Science! I don't know. I'm just losing my mind. Okay. I have gone exploring crazy. Not the first time, nor will it be the last. That seems interesting. That seems very interesting. I want to know what that is, that building. Because if it is what I think it is, that is a hell of a find. On my own, no less. Alright, so we'll put this away. There we go. I'm collecting a lot of Mordite just on my own. <laughs> kind of funny. How I'm managing that. There we go. More nitrogen right there. Perfect. And this is ferrite dust. Okay. There we go. There we go. That was weird. Oh, it is what I think it is. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. But I'm going to need to make some things to prepare. This is a freebie 
exosuit upgrade module. And I just need to repair it to be able to do things with it. I need antimatter housing, which I have. I need sodium nitrate, which I have. And carbon nanotubes, which I have. Actually, some of this used to be other materials. Didn't it? That's where it was. I want to say the sodium nitrate used to be something else. No matter. Carbon nanotubes is easy to make. And I can easily do that and get an exosuit upgrade for my trouble. There we go. Oh yeah. And now, antimatter housing. Sodium nitrate. Carbon nanotubes. And now I can throw on a new exosuit anywhere I want. New exosuit upgrade slot. I kind of want to do it in technology, but cargo would also be nice. Hmm. Let's put it in cargo. Specifically, so that way I have more places to put salvage data. I shall put this over here. And then salvage data excess past that will be put in here. That way I can hold up to like 60 or so. Somewhere in that ballpark. Ooh, and I noticed what that is. That is something very good for me. Albumen pearls. Oh, I'm just making money hand over fist. I'm getting upgrades hand over fist. Ooh, some copper too. Hello. All right. Well, I have found a proverbial treasure trove sitting right over here near this little area. I, when I say proverbial, I mean metaphorically and literally. Oh, no. I have now run out. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Ow. Good thing I'm getting carbon from this. Also recharge that for the oxygen I'm going to be taking. Oh, if only it was more, though. Oh, I really want that upgrade so I get more out of it. I really want that upgrade. I really want that upgrade, and I will be getting it soon. I just need to make sure... I don't piss away my funds to get what I need. I need wiring looms. That's never going to change. I will need wiring looms for basically everything that I make. And now I can open these without having to bring another pass. Ooh, okay. Rusted metal. Break that open. And it's... Geknip. Interesting. I can sell that. More antimatter housing. Didn't expect that, but I'll take it. There we go. Albumin pearls we'll put there. Geknip we'll put there. Put that there. Okay. Well, we found the building. We found what it was for, which was a cool thing. Cool thing that we could always use. Unfortunately, it's only one. That's a majority of the problem. It's only the one. And I need to find more if I want to get more. Therein lies the problem. I always need to be finding more. But it won't be that difficult. Alright, got those. Cool. And since I'm already here at the proverbial treasure trove. Including the copper here that I don't necessarily need, but kind of want. I'm just going to collect all of it. Alright. Cool. Alright. That is not terrible. 
Might as well try and make it a little bit more natural. At least more natural looking. The fact that the plant's still sitting there, that's funny to me. Okay, oh. Yeah, just carve out a little more here. There we go. Looks a little more natural, except for that weird plant standing there. But that's not the point. The point is that I have made it look natural and... Uh, made it so... I'm not inadvertently trapping... Innocent creatures. No balls. Nice. Some of the notes were artificial. What? Extrusive. Artificial. I mean, this was made artificially? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're trying to insinuate to me? Okay, get the albumin pearl. There we go. That's sometimes an interface bug where it says it's opening the humming sack again when it's already open. Don't worry about it. Okay. I don't see anything else particularly inspiring here, but there is a lot of cobalt. Oh, hello. Thank you. Thank you for giving me an easy source of oxygen. Okay. So we're going to switch to the mining beam and we're going to take a lot of this cobalt right here. Reason why we're taking the cobalt? Because we can always use more of it. Cobalt is a very useful mineral. I can make the ion batteries with it. Which is, you know, as I said earlier, very useful and very important to have a lot of, especially because they allow you to carry a lot of them, at least on the frigate. I can carry at least on the frigate, ah, 200? 200 at least? Grab some Maribald because I broke it already. There we go. I can at least carry 200 per slot on the on the capital ship. Blah, blah, blah. I keep saying frigate, but I mean capital ship. So, if it allows me to carry that many, it's obvious that it's going to be something that it'll be very useful for a very long amount of time. So, of course, the only logical thing is collect all the cobalt you can see, within reason, when you have the opportunity. Boy, is this an opportunity to get a whole lot of that. Where am I sitting right now on cobalt? Sitting at 3,000. That ain't too bad. These geodes will probably provide me with a little bit more gave me some ionized cobalt. Interesting. Not something I necessarily need right now, but it's something that I could get out of those geodes. Alright, there we go. Normal cobalt. Throw into the exosuit, and we're good. Cool. Alright. We have now done the thing. Sodium. Cool. We have now done the thing, we have done some mining, we have done some exploring, and we have done some important things when it comes to getting stuff done. And we also got some pretty neat perks as well. So, with that said and done, I think the only thing I really need to worry about is getting back home. By home, I mean back to the capital ship. Which will be shortly. I don't intend on dragging this out forever. 
Although I kind of want to. Don't get me wrong, I kind of want to. Ooh, just notice those. As much as I could collect, I do need to get the show on the road. Alright. Is there anything in particular that I should... Ooh, I mean, there's humming sacks down there, but not going to worry about that. Is going downwards just to get them has just as much risk of accidentally destroying them as it is to get them. So we'll just skip that. Is that it? Now those were a couple ships. Oh, look at you. What? Oh. 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 Well. How about that? A landed pilot. Well, that's something we could go to. I'm not going to, but I could. Mainly because usually the landed pilots are uh, going to sell some illegal modifications to ships and whatnot. Which, while I wouldn't necessarily turn down, since apparently there isn't that much that will go wrong with adding them. That's still not something I intend on going after. Ah, there it is. That was not the one I meant to hit it with. There's the one I meant to hit it with. Beautiful. Glowing mineral. Crystal sulfide. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but it'll do. All right, I'm sitting at 2,400 dihydrogen and 2,500 tritium. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Ow. All right. Break some of these open. There we go. Cool. And now we head on home. Actually, you know what? I don't have to do it the long way. I could just make my ship come to me. That is an option I have. In fact, I probably will do that. Let's say, get done with all this. There we go. And then grab that. Oh, Always. Always. Always, always. Something silly like that. Alright. And let's bring the ship over here. Yeah, that'll work. Ah? Ah? There we go. Beautiful. And away we go. I have to head to another planet for the scan creatures bit. A planet that I haven't explored. I discovered this, but that doesn't mean I explored everything on it. It's a caustic planet. Just because I want to check if I have or have not scanned everything on the planet. Thus giving me a target in which to complete the thing for the scientist. I'm gonna head over here and then end the episode. Sounds like a plan to me. Alright, there we go. Beginning suborbital uh, sub flight. <sighs> My ability to speak is gradually diminishing with every day that passes. Okay.
I, this does seem familiar, but I can't quite say I scanned everything on it. I don't think I did. It is a toxic planet. It's a very toxic planet. I didn't scan everything on it. I just noticed there's an unidentified plant right there. Okay. Question is, did I scan all the animals on the planet? Because that's what I have to look for. As buried technology module. Uh, it seemed like I might have. Okay. Uh, discovered today. Uh, fauna. Okay, there's at least four animal types that I haven't scanned. Flying, diurnal, some of them are uncommon or rare. Ugh. Okay, that'll take a while. Whoop. Oh, that's one I've already scanned. Damn it. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to wait until daybreak anyway double check some of the things I'm going to be looking for. So I guess I'll need to end this episode for right now. And I'll stay in my ship so I'm protected from the elements. So thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying my darndest just to get things completed for the science t the scientist the armor and the farmer and the farmer's going to take about probably about another 3 hours at this point the the armor's probably has the target in another system i'm not sure i'll have to look that into that and then the you know, then the scientist has me scanning animals that I'm not entirely sure if I've scanned everything in the system or not, so I'm going to have to check. But we'll see in a little bit for you.